Hey guys, I don't have anything for you. I don't have any snacks, I don't have any treats. So I got up early this morning to work out, but instead was watching Perry Mason. You know what I don't understand? Like, what, what were they in the 50s and 60s? Those old, te some of the first great television shows. Or any television show. I mean, married couples had to sleep in twin beds with a lamp between them. And you, you couldn't say pregnant. You had to say expecting. You couldn't say toilet or bathroom or anything. As a matter of fact, Jack Parr, who used to host to the, the uh, Tonight Show, he told... Do I remember this right? Yeah. He told a joke where he wanted to reference a bathroom, but instead said water closet. But even um, kind of censored that, and, 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 he, and it was WC. He said WC in his monologue joke, which stood for water closet. And they censored that joke. Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. So, but these shows that I love to watch. Perry Mason, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Twilight Zone, all these shows. Every episode, someone gets brutally murdered. Brutal murder. That was okay with the censors. I mean, you could not say toilet, but you could stab someone several times, wrap them in a sheet, toss them in the trunk of your car, drive them down to the river, and dump them in. And that was... That's okay. Yeah, just... Don't say toilet. Don't say pregnant. All right. I'll bring you a bale later. Ah, uh, all right. So, got to feed the cattle. And uh, what are we doing today? Oh, we're working on the truck, I think, some more. The truck is, um, it just needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of welding. A lot of parts are just kind of falling off of it. It needs... Lots of welding and lots of stuff torched off to... Yeah, I don't know. My heart's not in it. Just doing what needs to be done. Oh, man. I was gonna follow up this shot with driving the truck out of the barn, but I already shot that the other day, but the truck was facing the other way. So, ignore the following lack of continuity. So first thing this morning, I said my heart wasn't in it. Uh, we had to do a lot of repairs to the truck, still do. Uh, pretty major repairs to the frame. I mean, lots of welding, replacing the shackles, I think they're called. Anyway, there was some success there. And seeing the before and after, taking out the rusty stuff, putting in new stuff, um, I, yeah. My heart wasn't in it until we dug in, and it's a good feeling, ending the day on a good note. It is pretty this evening. Let me see if I can do this justice. Probably not. Just the way the sun is bouncing off the clouds, hitting the golden earth. It's beautiful. So 
I want you to know I, I tried for about six months. I made a halfway earnest attempt at, at having a farm vlog kind of thing, and I'm still going to do that, but I try, you know, I wanted to make a video every Monday and every Thursday and be calculated about it and try to, as much as possible, keep it between the lines. I don't know. But I wasn't really enjoying that, and also, I mean, <laughs> as it is now, even in this town, this small town that I live in, Garrettson, South Dakota, I'm the third most popular YouTuber. I mean, it's a, it's a hard game, and you have to be very, very focused and very driven. I, I'm, not, I'm not those things. I just enjoy making videos. And the, the other two channels that are above me, I, so I'm in third place, Clueless Farmer, and second place is a kid who films trains coming through town. And, and I'm not knocking it either. I mean, he's out in cold weather, and uh, rail fanning's pretty big. He also, like, somehow got permission to film inside the engine and stuff like that, so it's really good. And I would, sh I would share the name of it, but since it's a kid and, and he goes by his name on YouTube, I, really, I don't feel comfortable sharing that. And then first place, which fingers were, what was the array of fingers? First place is uh, a channel called Backpacking with Buckley, and it's really good. He, uh, he goes out, the same weather I'm griping about working in, I mean, he's camping in. He, he's got his tent going and, and a, uh, like a stove and he's making steaks and stuff. And, and yeah, I, it would just be a video of me crying in a tent all night about how cold I am if I even attempted something like that. So that is all to say. Uh, I, I'm going to keep doing this, but the regularity, who knows? And if I want to talk about uh, Columbo, because I just started watching Columbo, and my God, I mean, that is a great show. Uh, I'll, I might do that while on a tractor, but wow. I mean, Peter Falk, there's nothing, nothing of that caliber has been done since. It's just amazing. And people back then had to be like, oh my goodness, a good TV show. What's this all about? Oh, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. And, and another reason I love doing this is uh, it, it, it connects me with the community. I don't really get out, I don't socialize much, but there are people who, who see this, who have come upon this one way or another. And uh, I was at the gas station slash diner slash everything recently, and um, I was just drinking some coffee, and I was trying to update my phone, because my phone only works on their Wi-Fi. Anyway, a guy came up and, and said, hey, hey, Clueless Farmer, and introduced himself, and we had a nice chit-chat. And that wouldn't have happened if it weren't for uh, my playing around here on this YouTube channel, because I'm certainly too shy to introduce myself to people. And then, last Sunday, um, I wanted to go to this buffet at a sports bar. There's a sports bar the next town over. They have a brunch buffet on the weekends. Or maybe they have a... I think it's just on the weekend. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And, and this buffet. This buffet. Here's what, here's what I think happens. I think, I think they sit around the night before and I think they get high and they just talk about what they're going to put on this buffet. They're just like, eggs, yeah. Bacon, sure. Lasagna, yeah, lasagna. And how about meatloaf and cinnamon rolls, biscuits and gravy... Donuts, sure. All the food, do all the. It's all the food, and I wanted to have all the food. So we went to this. Uh, we went to this breakfast buffet, and uh, the waitress came up, and she did the thing waitresses do, where they're they're just kind of, you know, they're telling you it's time to wrap up. And she said, "Is there anything else that I can get for you?" I said, "Oh no, this is great." And she said, "Well, your your bill's been taken care of, so have a good day." I said, "Wait, what? What?" I don't know anybody. What are you talking about? And she said, well, the people over there. So we walked over, Shuva and I walked over, and uh, this guy said, oh, yeah, I, l I like your YouTube channel. You know, keep up the good work. Bought our breakfast. And uh, it was just, that was such a nice gesture. And, and it's just uh, a way of feeling welcome to this community. And, and I hope to, you know, of course, pay that forward in, in some way at some point. And uh, uh, it was a nice gesture, and it was a gesture that had come uh, just at the right time. Because... Um, I have my ups and downs, especially with it being winter, and so I, I don't connect in person with the same amount of people that I used to, and so I just kind of have these weeks every now and then when I'm feeling a little down, and, and that, it cheered me up, and, and uh, that was really cool. And it's all thanks to, to the people that are watching this and, and doing this, 
and, and this that being kind of my way of of connecting or introducing myself to people so that was uh that was really cool anyways i didn't realize it wasn't until like the third episode of Columbo that you see his car, but you just kind of briefly see his car, and it's the fourth episode where his car is more formally introduced. He's driving his car, and there's a taillight out, and a cop pulls him over. I thought the car was part of the thing the whole time, but they introduced the car just a few episodes in, and uh, it kind of took a while for it become, to become like a, a character in the show. But and Do you remember they like started making Columbo again? Like, I remember... I want to say the very last Columbo that I remember watching, like, new on TV was 2003. 2003. Like, what I'm watching now is, I think, 1970, 71. 2003. What a run. But I, it was getting a little bit kind of weird in 2003, like an 80-year-old detective. It was not, you know. But it was still, it was preferable to what is available now. But what, 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 yeah. Uh, I just got to know when to call the video over.